Hey, Mike with Nerd Problems Gaming here, the channel where we go through the good and bad of everything nerdy to make sure you spend your time on the best of the best. In today's video, we'll be doing an unboxing of the deck building game Star Realms, as well as a bunch of expansion packs, so let's get into it. So Star Realms is a deck building game from White Wizard Games, and they've also made other great deck building games as well. But let's dive into opening the starter kit and the expansion packs. All right guys, so Star Realms is a space themed deck building game. And what's cool with this is that it is a standalone game where you don't necessarily need to buy a bunch of different booster packs or expansions. But over the years, they have released multiple expansions to get more out of the game. But instead of being like a collectible card game where it's random what you get in packs, or there's different rares or various things like that, it's just all self-contained and then you only need to get individual expansions if you want to. So let's start off with the starter deck though and see what's inside that. So we've got the deck here. This is some instructions on how to play. And so recently I've been playing through Hero Realms, which is kind of the medieval version of this game. And so I believe the rules are going to be pretty similar where players start with a base set of cards. And then they'll be able to play and expand their team as they go and build a better deck, with various resources and gold. But let's jump in and see what we got. All right, so it looks like there's different battleships and card types that you get, whether they be attacking ships, fighters, and more. Again, looks like there's maybe different types of alien races here. Be it the blob world, the blob mothership, that might be the type of class of card. And so one thing you'll kind of see is the different color schemes. And so Star Realms is actually created by a couple former champions for Magic the Gathering. And so it kind of seems like there's different card types like the red and white and black, similar to Magic the Gathering, where in Star Realms, it looks like there's going to be red and green yellow, which is kind of maybe similar to white from Magic. And then again, this looks like it's going to be different alien races that you're playing as, whether it's an Imperial fighter, the blob race like we were looking at earlier, the battle race. So again, we'll kind of have to jump in, but as I've been playing Hero Realms, which again is kind of a similar type of game, but more medieval magic fantasy based, you'll have various cards which are, you know, defender type characters that have specific life points that can protect your life force and base. And then there's other cards that will be attackers. There's other cards, looks like these are outposts. And what they do is they can defend your main life force and characters, preventing people from attacking them directly versus some of the other defenders. Can block attacks, but they also grant you special abilities as well. So again, you've got these base set of cards. Looks like with this race, it's the Explorers. That will give you gold when you use them. And then, you know, scout ships here that you can use as currency. So these will kind of be your base set of cards. A couple attack ships, vipers here. And then these are your health gauges for each of the different races of aliens. So it definitely looks very similar to Hero Realms, just again, space themed. But let's start diving into the expansions. So this one is High Alert First Strike. So again, comes with a little 
extra additional rule book talking about the different aspects of this add-on expansion so again looks like you might play as additional races new ship types cruisers battle pods you can add to the game so definitely looks cool mix up your strategies play a little bit different this way and one thing that's cool that i really like about deck builders like this is everybody starts with kind of the same base of cards and then they build their more advanced deck as you play collecting new cards this one's the high alert tech deck so instead of like magic the gathering for example where you start with your deck of 60 cards and you'll draw mana and land for example to get different cards with a deck builder like this you've got your gold cards as kind of the starting point and then you can use that to buy better cards every single turn and you'll slowly add them to your deck making it more powerful as you go and your strategy kind of builds from there so instead of having a built-in strategy at the start the theme of your deck Kind of builds as you go which is really fun making every single game really unique so this is the high alert requisition so like i said we've got star realms just kind of space themed and then hero realms another game from them kind of fantasy themed so it's kind of just what avenue you like better it's probably going to be a similar type of play style but you know, I haven't played this one yet, so who knows? It might be a little bit different. So definitely stay tuned for a future review. We get a chance to play the full game, but here's High Alert Invasion. Some crazy artwork here. Looks like that blob race of aliens. Has some pretty crazy stuff with it. Looks like a ship that eats other ships in this one. Arsenals, Cargo Raptor. It's again a lot of cool designs and artwork here. Oh, nice. This one's super cool. Kind of looks like aliens almost. Nice. Cool. We've got high alert heroes here. Actually get to play as heroes. So that might be a little bit different here on how that works. Adding individual characters into the game. Definitely like the artwork on these. Cool. All right, well now let's dive into the crisis pack. So this is fleets and fortresses. So this is like a, another type of expansion, I'm guessing. Don't know a ton about it yet. It might add some new mechanics to the deck. More launch ships. Customs frigate. Death World. Patrol bots. Spike pods. Star Fortress. Border Fort. And Capital World again, cool. So we've got another Heroes pack. This one for Crisis. So I kind of think I heard that they maybe did some fans of the game or maybe kickstart backers or part of some of these cards. So 
that could be cool. Maybe they'll feature more people in future decks and expansions they release. Here's a Crisis Events deck expansion. Got some more events here. Black Holes, Bombardment, a Comet coming through, Galactic Summit, a Quasar. So some, again, space anomalies going on that might affect your various alien races. That's cool. All right, guys, that was the unboxing of Star Realms, the deck building game and several different expansion packs. But definitely stay tuned for a future video where I do a full review on how I feel about the game once we've had some time to play it. Well, again, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this unboxing video of Star Realms, the deck building game. If you did, be sure to smash that like button as it really helps out the channel. If you'd like to pick up the Star Realms deck building game, or any of the expansion packs, there'll be a link in the description below where you can pick those up. And if you haven't done so yet, be sure to subscribe and turn on the bell notifications to get the latest updates of new nerd videos we put out. And if you'd like to help us support the channel, pick out content and more, become a patron of ours at nerdproblemsgaming.com forward slash Patreon. And if you'd like to plug into our live streams and let's plays we do on the channel, you can follow us on Twitch at nerdproblemsgaming.com forward slash Twitch. But once again, thanks for tuning in and we'll talk to you more soon.